The red giant branch, otherwise known as RGB for short, is a path of stellar evolution occupied by dying stars of the red giant type that were once intermediate mass or low mass stars when on the main sequence of an HR diagram. Let's start with the HR diagram part of this red giant branch. Here we're looking at two examples, one on the left, one on the right, of an HR diagram. We have luminosity increasing on the vertical axis, which is how bright the star appears at its surface. We have an equivalent property on this left HR diagram, and they're using absolute magnitude in the visual band, which is how bright the object appears to your eyes if the object was located at a particular distance, such as 10 parsecs from us. On the horizontal axis, we're looking at increasing temperature on the left. And on the left diagram, instead of temperature, we're looking at what's called spectral type, which is based on temperature. So the two properties, temperature and spectral type, are also equivalent. Luminosity is equivalent to absolute magnitude. Temperature is equivalent to spectral type when it comes to properties. On the left diagram, we're taking a look at stars that are on the main sequence which is where stars are when they're stable in size. They're not growing in size, they're not getting smaller in size, they just live their lives constantly at the same size. So they're on this thing called the main sequence, they're adult stars. When stars start to die, you'll find a bunch of them above and to the right of the main sequence. Two of the categories are known as bright giants and giants. They're luminosity class two and luminosity class three. Now let's take a look on the right diagram on these stellar paths. We have our main sequence here, and we're looking at one example of a stellar path. Now the sun is located right about here, and we're looking at this path of evolution that's starting to die off the main sequence. The sun-type stars turn into subgiants first, then turn into these giant stars. So the giant stars are located along this path, which is known as our red giant branch, RGB. The next stage is our helium fusion inside the core along the horizontal branch. And the previous stage is called the subgiant branch. So we're looking at this intermediate dying stage of red giants that's between the subgiant stage and the horizontal branch. In the subgiant stage, you're fusing hydrogen into helium in the core. In the uh, horizontal branch, you're fusing helium in the core. On the red giant branch, we're looking at a path of stellar evolution. It's this path occupied by dying stars of the red giant type. Well, here's an example of a red giant a solar type star that was once on the main sequence, like a sun, turned into these red giants when on this red giant branch. So where stars are on the main sequence in the intermediate to low mass, these stars will evolve off the main sequence and start to die, creating paths similar to these paths that we see circled in red. When they're in this portion of the path, we call that the red giant branch, which is between the subgiant branch and the horizontal branch. Not all objects will pass through a subgiant, but the red giant branch is occupied by these bright giants and giants that are dying off the main sequence and passing through the giant stage of stellar evolution.